हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवाधन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल सांगली इंडिया एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बबल ट्रबल आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ अस हु हैव स्टार्टेड डूइंग फेको हैव एक्सपीरियंस दिस यू आर ऑल सेट फॉर डूइंग अ गुड फेको सर्जरी एंड द मोमेंट यू स्टार्ट द फेको इमल्सिफिकेशन देर आर दिस बबल्स हु स्टार्ट एंट्रिंग द एंटर चेंबर ऑफ द आई एंड स्टार्ट डिस्टर्बिंग यू and you either have to aspirate them out or you have to remove them by injecting more ovd but it kind of disturbs the flow of the surgery so let's have a look at the irrigation system of the feco emulsification unit it starts with the bottle followed by there is iv set which has a important structure called drip chamber and then it goes into the fluid management system which we call as cassett and from there the irrigation line goes into the feco probe and into the eye now it is preferable when you set up the feco unit that the eye level should be below the feco unit so as to maintain proper flow and avoid air entering during the irrigation the drip chamber is important part of the iv set and it should be at least half full before you start priming to avoid any air entering the line if by mistake you have started the priming with air in the drip chamber you should redo it after filling the chamber completely to avoid the air present in the irrigation line this is a very important device called air bubble bubble preventer sleeve and it fits snugly inside your regular feco sleeve and what it does is that during feco when you are using high vacuum there is a negative pressure which is created around this sleeve and if it is not air tight the air will leak through this gap into the anterior chamber so this bubble preventer sleeve exactly does that prevents the air entry prime the entire irrigation line before you start and as i mentioned earlier the feco probe should be kept at lower level than the feco unit itself this is my personal experience because if you don't use the customized table for the feco unit and it is at lower level there is more chance that air will enter through the feco probe another important aspect is that before you start your feco even if you have primed the irrigation line you should always start the irrigation first before entering the eye this removes the air bubble which are stuck inside the feco sleeve even after priming or whenever you have primed it and kept the feco unit as it is for longer time there will be some air entering the sleeve so that should be removed by initial irrigation thank you so much for more such videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and see my playlist and also there is a exciting website fecotraining.org.in and you can have list of videos there thank you so much